Hello guys and welcome back to another iOS racing video and um, I'm very happy to be back um, some of you might not know what happened actually but my phone actually broke and um, finally I got a new repair or actually a new phone in that case so um, and finally I, inst I installed iOS racing and then I completely forgot the the ID and the password so I had to reset that so it was a long trouble but everything is back up and running so um, as you can see we're back into our YouTube account I'm so happy um, let's get on with the series um, and the first thing I've done is the update the new update the, um, I think it's a club wars that has actually been updated and um, I'm not in a club actually so but I do get a reward um, of you can say 200 coins so uh, that brings up to 2,000 coins and um, last time out um, we saw Mountain keeps on the good form with a great third last time out um, a Mountain looks solid and one more win should take him over the the grade 1 so we can start racing grade 1's um, there's no other really horses that's struggling last time I told you guys I was struggling with Jolly Jolly who just doesn't want to run he ran one good race since then it was poor form hopefully jolly jolly can uh, can get back into form and um we actually have enough diamonds to open a um I'm, i just call it packs but we have <laughs> but we have enough diamonds to actually recruit 10 horses so that's exactly what i'm gonna do but i think i'm first gonna just play out a few more uh, probably at the end of this episode i'll do because also in 70 um 78 races i actually have to renew my stable so i just want to keep enough diamonds for that so i actually think it's wise to go now for a new pack of rec um, recruitments and also i think i'm gonna retire jolly jolly he's just not shaping up um to the horse um, that's gonna earn me money uh, in anything really because he just struggles so Actually, I'm going to go ahead and retire Jolly Jolly right now. That leaves us with All You Wish. I'm actually going to keep All You Wish. He ran two great runs, only one off form. But he is a four-star. But um, I think, he, I think he, he'll still win a few. And then also, let's go ahead and uh, get a new pair of horses. Alright, that's actually not a bad draw. Um, I'm actually... And also, there was no five six star horses up for grabs so i actually think this is a great pull that i've actually got in the end five two stars and i can also um fuse all these four stars so i i think this is a great um uh, pool of 10 horses so and we actually gonna use one of the new horses here because i like to race with five horses um it also makes the episode a bit longer as well so right so 1400 i just want to see what my other distances are from the other horses yeah I, sure, I don't want everyone to be the same distance as you can see we have a nice variety of horses here of the distance so let's quickly have a look here 1600 1800 all right well it doesn't really matter then because we have we already have all the distances covered sorry i keep on clicking on the wrong one there we go Hmm. All right. Let's see who's. All right. Yep. Yeah. Let's do this one. And I'm gonna call it. What can I call it today? I'm gonna call all this one. Tex Rex. <laughs> Just thinking of nice names. Just quickly thinking. I haven't really thought of any specific names. I just pick a name. <laughs> all right. So Tex Rex. He's our new horse, yeah. Oh, and he's a lovely grey horse. Um, so he's a front runner, 1,400 meters. Um, should he um, cause problems? I might just move him to one to the 1,600. I don't like the 1,400 for two reasons. Firstly, of all, there's very little horses that's actually very good in 1,400. And the second thing is you struggle to find good races for the 1,400. So. Um, that's probably going to be the first thing I'll change if he does give problems. But for now. <coughs> sorry um i'm gonna keep him at this at this distance and we'll see what he can do um but also let's let's start to train him i would actually like to give him my honey but i don't have enough points so i'm just gonna have to i don't know should i go for the stout now I, i'll first i'm first gonna gallop him and then i'll give him a stout but let's get into the races that's the that's the main thing of the series is to get to ten thousand coins and we also have mail That's just a double up when you buy. And uh, 
that. All right, so let's get into it. So Mountain's going to be the first horse we're going to enroll into a race here. And, um, oh, I think this is the, oh, this is actually the great, uh, this is the grade one series. Oh, I completely forgot about the grade one series. So, <laughs> all right, so unfortunately, guys, you guys will, I'm just going to have to pause and cut the video out again. But we'll return as soon as it's back to the, to the normal season afterwards. But let's enter the horses so long. That won't be a problem. See, I don't... I'm very picky about my jockeys I pick for the horses. So, I don't just pick any race. I pick a, I pick a race, actually, that the horse, I think, will probably have the best chance in winning. So, it's probably going to be this one. Alright, so I'm going to let Barry get on Mountain. The ever-consisting Mountain. Hopefully he picks up his win or a second to actually get him into that into that um, group one stages. And uh, oh that's double the double the coins, double the everything. Let's see if I can maybe get that. This has a good chance as well, I would say. Free state. How's free state form been actually? I just wanna check this. And also, I told you last guy um, in the last episode, I only have front runners. I don't like front runners. I just don't like them. I would have liked to have at least a few back runners. Each one was also quite good, actually. Um, I think I'm going to give him blinkers. And uh, we're also going to upgrade his saddle. And also, I want to keep Mountain upgraded because... Oh, he is upgraded. Because, obviously, as you know, Mountain is the best horse we have at the moment. Free state. Let's give him some nice colors on here. Gonna go with the orange and white. There we go. And that should do it. All right. And then also, let's get let's enter free state into a race now. He is fit. Put him in here. Nah, I'm not gonna put him in there. This is the dirt track. Also, I don't like the dirt track. So at the moment, I'm struggling to find a good race for Free State here. No good jockeys as well on him. There we go. Here's a nice one. He could be competitive in that field, maybe. All you wish. Oh, I just I just don't know, should I retire all the wish? That's the thing. We'll see after this run. I'll judge it by this run now. So let's get it a good race. No, I don't, I don't want a group 3. I want a uh, group 2. No. Oh, well, actually, yeah, you should win, actually. Yeah, you should really win, because this is in the group three still. And with, with the form line of all you wish, you should win. You should win. Um, I'm going to give the jockey instructions as well. Oh, yeah, that's what I, that's what we did in the previous episode. We actually moved all you wish um, one back, actually. So that's actually a good thing then. All right, and then Tex Rex, the new horse, five star. Next up, he gets off to a to a great start. Now look at this. Now here's a one thousand four hundred. Mm -mm. I'm just looking for the best race here I can possibly find. So one out there. So I I could enter him into this. Yeah, I'm I'm just gonna go for it straight up. He's not even gonna run the group freeze, and hopefully he wins. But um. Also, what I do with my new horses, one of my tips I would check taste, is just to get that um, the the start, the corner, and the temper, just to get that a bit up there. And the best way to do that is with cornflakes. If you do have cornflakes, guys, and otherwise you'll just have to do it the hard way, and uh, you just have to gonna go for barrier trials. It's probably the best. So I'm going to give him one barrier trial. This might be actually stupid because I just gave him a stout. I should have actually gave him the stout um, after I did the barrier trials. But we're going to go in anyway for it. He looks good in the gallop run. The time it concerns me because that's a terrible time. But um, he'll improve with the start in the corner that goes up. So I'll just give him another... I'll just give him uh, vitamins to see is he ready for the race. No one is overweight or below weight. The highest rating is Mountain. All right, so that's basically it now for the first part of this video. Nine minutes already. Time flies. So, um, 
what we will be doing is, as you guys can see, unfortunately it's a grade 1 season, so I'll see you guys, I'll cut the video out, and I'll meet you guys on race number 4, where Mountain will be going out for the first race. Alright guys, see you now. Alright guys, um, so actually um, we are ready for the first race here, Mountain to go out um, for the first, for this episode, first run, and Mountain is priced up at 5 to 1, so hopefully he can get into the winner's box, I'm hoping for a first, second or third, I'll be really happy for that, because then what that means is, he'll go into the, um, to the 105 ratings, so we can actually start to um to look at the grade ones so he didn't get the best of jumps this time around he's at the back of the field um but that's okay so we'll see how he settles in let's skip to the philosopher 400 meters oh and he looks a big runner again he's coming on quite well here on the inside in the middle of the track also running on his legal eagle looking to spread his wings and mountain is still in front here yeah? at the 200 meter he looks strong but the number 11 is going to snatch him on the line. I can already see it at the last 100. And Mountain, very good again for second. Look how far a Mountain actually, there's a big gap between um, second and third. So Mountain does look classy. Unfortunately gets beaten. But once again, another great ride. So um, there we go. Flying Blue beats Mountain. And um, that's the second. So he's bumped. His rating should bump up to at least 106. And all right, guys, I'll see you for the for the next race for the next horse. All right, guys, so we're back here at race number 11, and all you wish I can't believe this is actually the favourite. Um, so this is good. Remember, I said it should win because looking at it at a great free, it really should win. Even though the form line's not the best in the last run. The rest are good, so I'm expecting a very good run, and I'm expecting all you wish to go very close. So let's look at this race. From the 1,400, sent on their way home. Let's skip to the last 400 meters here. Right, all you wish, he's starting to move up, that's good progress. And uh, Joel Jed is still in front, he's going on well, but here comes all you wish out of the pack. Silk Fortune is also running on quite strongly in the blue silks. And also um, finishing quite fast is Star Trek. Oh, and all you wish, oh, he's going to get beaten, he's going to get in for second again. Alright, so I did expect him to go close, he did go close, but he didn't win. That's not what I wanted, I wanted him to win, but he didn't. So uh, that's unfortunate, really is. All right, so that's two seconds for this episode already. Um, it's about time we turn this into a win now. Nice odds there on the number. I'm trying to not bet. If that's why what you guys are trying to do, um, wondering why I'm not betting is, do you want to lay off? Do you want to build up some coins before I start to get back into the betting? All right, guys, I'll see you for the next uh, for the next race again. Okay, guys, so um, we are just to about to see. To, um, Tex Rex first race for us for the stable but um, after that after all that actually mountain rating did go up to a 107 so he will be our first grade one winner um, I'm calling it a winner because he will win sooner or later in a grade one but um, I do think he, he's a very consistent type and uh, I think I think highly of Mountain at the moment in the stable there's no real horse that can really top him at the moment let's go uh, have a look at Tex Rex um, field, yeah, he's the favourite, obviously. Um, he's running against the yeah, he's five to one favourite. I won't call that a strong favourite in all means. Um, there's good form from the number five there, and the number five should um, keep me at bay. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually put a 40, 40 coin wager up on number four and number five here. Mm -hmm. I do apologize for all the WhatsApps coming through. <laughs> all right, so race number 17 here. Tex Rex going out for the first time. Let's see what we can do. And hopefully, he can bring me some luck. All right, they are sent on their way home here. Yeah? Thumbs up, got a very good jump, as well as French Navy. It's actually funny seeing French Navy because there's a real horse in South Africa called French Navy and he has exactly the same silks um, 
with the trainer Sean Terry. But um, if you're not familiar with South African horse racing, um, you won't know that. So, but anyway, let's get on here. So let's skip to the last 400. I'm hoping Tex Rex can actually come on and win first time out. All right, so he's starting to spawn. There. There's no real um, finishing horses here in this race. It's going to be a very slow paced race. But Tex Rex does hit the front at the 200 meter. And he's looking strong and running. And Tex Rex is going to take a beating here. Here comes the number seven now. Are we going to get, are we going to get free, oh, we're going to get three seconds in this episode. Can you believe it? Tex Rex gets beaten in the last 100 meters. At this point, I thought we'd be home and dry. And again, we get beaten on the line. So that's three seconds for this episode. Our, our luck has to turn sooner or later. Um, but we're not done with the episode yet. We still have to see how a free state runs later on. So that's still going to be interesting. I just want to see how his fitness, all fitness is all well. And all your wishes well. All right, so I'm actually going to put Mountain into another race here because I'm excited to see him run in a grade one. And uh, we will keep his result a surprise for, uh, for, for the next episode. And uh, hopefully he comes home smartly and gives us our first win for uh, grade one year. I'm thinking, should I take um, White here as a jockey ticket? I only have one ticket left. Or should I go with Cruz in second? I'm going to go with South African jockey. <laughs> I'm going to go with White here to take the ride on uh, on Mountain in race 51. So, um, yes. Alright, guys. So, that'll basically be it the, um, for this episode. I'll... We will still gonna watch Free State race. His race is in about 12 races time, and um, I'm excited to see Free State run. But I'm not expecting Free State to win at all. The form line doesn't show he'll win, but it does show you will run a good race. So anything um, third to fifth will be a good result for me for Free State. And I think I'm gonna take Free State over the 1,600 meters if he doesn't win this. Um, but otherwise. Yeah, that's going to be, um, so Free State will be the last run of this episode. And then for next episode, I'll show you the replay of how Mountain run, um, how he ran in the grade one. And hopefully we pick up a grade one win, but um, that'll be interesting. All right, guys, so um, I'll see you when Free State runs and then um, that'll end the episode for episode four. Alright guys, so we are back for the last part here to see um, Free State run for episode 4, the last horse to run. And, um, well, I'm going to judge Free State on this run. Should I move him to the 1,600 meters? This is very this going to be um, hard, but I think Free State, like I said, I don't expect him to win, but I'm expecting a decent run. And um, let's just hope for the best. So, uh, also just going into this race, we've had four seconds in this um episode so let's just hope for something better <laughs> all right 400 meters left to go and free state's a big runner in this one free state is in front yeah smart man the number nine is also starting to kick in smartly and then we have dream ahead is also coming on strongly but it's going to be this number nine smart man is causing problems free state could win uh, oh we're going to get another second all right, well, this is just insult to the four seconds we already have. So we're ending this episode on five seconds. All right, <laughs> let's let's hope they can actually make something of this and actually go on to the next race. And, uh, well, they can, hopefully they can win. But um, obviously, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. If you, if you liked it, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.